The NBA offseason may be coming to an end, but that doesn't mean the reports are stopping anytime soon. According to ESPN, the Donovan Mitchell to the New York Knicks reports haven't died down. Actually, they are still active and buzzing as we speak right now. We're going to break down what reports are still active, if it means anything for the New York Knicks heading into next season, and what a potential Donovan Mitchell trade could look like for the Knicks. We're going to look into this and so much more today. Let's get started. Donovan Mitchell to the Knicks reports are actually still buzzing at this very moment. Now I know what you're thinking. How could Donovan Mitchell to the Knicks reports still be active right now when we're only a few weeks away from training camp? Well, thanks to ESPN, we have a little bit more information as to why reports about Donovan Mitchell are still active regarding him joining the New York Knicks. The Donovan Mitchell to the New York Knicks rumors still haven't gone away, despite the Cleveland Cavaliers trading for Mitchell instead of the Knicks last season. ESPN's Andrew Lopez wrote this in a list of the 2023-2024 predictions from the Worldwide Leader. Mitchell is extension eligible this offseason, and if Cleveland thinks there's even a chance that Mitchell may bolt, perhaps they look into seeing what value they can get for the player they just dealt three players, including Laurie Markkinen, three first round picks, and two pick swaps for. While the Knicks moved on last summer and the Cleveland Cavaliers made the blockbuster deal to acquire him, there may be a chance that Mitchell is on his way to New York after all with his free agency coming in 2025. The speculation around a Donovan Mitchell trade has reopened after doubt has surfaced around the idea of Donovan Mitchell signing a long-term deal with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, we knew that Donovan Mitchell may not sign an extension with Cleveland a few weeks ago. What we did not know is that the reports about him joining the New York Knicks are still active, still buzzing, and still hot. Because I don't understand why it would be as the New York Knicks are headed into this season, likely with the same roster they had last season, only with a small change in Obi Toppin being traded and Dante DiVincenzo being added to this team in free agency. I don't think the Cleveland Cavaliers have any plans on moving Mitchell for this year. They definitely want to see what they can maximize around him and what they can do again when they reach the playoffs next season. Because I think we all believe they are definitely playoff bound headed into next season. And if they are, it's going to be very important for them to make a statement in the playoffs, especially if they want to keep Donovan Mitchell for the long term. Because if Mitchell thinks he can't win with Cleveland, we already know he doesn't want to be there. And if you add those two things together and you know he wants to come to the Knicks... That means the Cleveland Cavaliers absolutely need to win and they need to win immediately, ASAP. Because if they don't, the door for Donovan Mitchell leaving the Cleveland Cavaliers not only opens, it slams open. And the opportunity for the New York Knicks to pick him up opens up entirely. And if that door swings open again and he's available... I absolutely think the New York Knicks will contact the Cleveland Cavaliers to see what it would take to get a trade done to get Donovan Mitchell on the New York Knicks because I think everybody in the league knows Donovan wants to be in New York. He loves New York City. And if you're going to ask me where Donovan Mitchell has been last spotted, well, he was last spotted in New York City playing basketball at a pro workout with Trey Young and Jacob Toppin. Where does he usually spend his off time? Normally in New York City. Not only because he's a New York native, but also because he loves New York. He loves the city, and you can't help but see it. He loves the Knicks. He wants to be a Knick. I think we all knew this since last summer when the New York Knicks almost traded for him, but didn't. Speaking of trade, that question comes up a lot. The question regarding what could a Donovan Mitchell trade look like for the New York Knicks if they executed it right now with the Cleveland Cavaliers? Well, thanks to NBA Analysis Network, we now have more information on potentially what that trade could look like. They pitched a deal that would send Donovan Mitchell to the Knicks for R.J. Barrett, 
Josh Hart, and three future first round picks. A deal that was proposed before the fact that Hart, as a signer of a four year contract extension earlier this offseason, cannot be moved until the 2024 offseason was established. Even if you have to replace Josh Hart here with another player or two for the New York Knicks, I am not doing this trade. I would want to pair Donovan Mitchell and R.J. Barrett together. Why would I trade away R.J. Barrett in this deal along with three first round picks? The Cleveland Cavaliers in this type of situation where I think the New York Knicks would trade with them in wouldn't have any leverage because everybody would know that Donovan Mitchell would want to come to the Knicks during either free agency or that would be his preferred destination in any trade. Since that's the case, the leverage that the Cavs have are really gone. So I'm not saying they're not going to get something back for Donovan Mitchell, but they're not going to get this package for Donovan Mitchell. They're not going to get RJ Barrett and three future first round picks because quite frankly, that is ludicrous. They don't need it. We potentially could get Donovan Mitchell in free agency if we wait. Or we could wait for Donovan Mitchell to request a trade and we all know that his likely destinations would likely be a place in New York. And one of those teams would be the New York Knicks. And in terms of assets right now, the Knicks have the most assets to play with in terms of a team that Donovan Mitchell might request a trade to. OKC and the Jazz definitely have a lot more assets, but I doubt that Donovan will request a trade back to the Jazz or request a trade with OKC. It wouldn't make sense for me or Donovan Mitchell in terms of his trajectory and what we've seen over the last few years. I think that Donovan Mitchell will absolutely come to the New York Knicks eventually. Whether that's in free agency or trade, I don't know. But I'll tell you this, Leon Rose, if he saw this trade, would think the same thing that I'm thinking. There is no reason to do a trade like this because it's likely you can get Donovan for a cheaper deal in the future later on or you can get him for nothing because he would walk here in free agency because everybody knows he wants to be a New York Nick. Donovan Mitchell is a star. He's an all-star. He's a scorer in so many different ways. He can pass the ball very, very well. He's an underrated defender when he wants to play defense. He is such a benefit to any team that he goes to because you'll never have to worry about scoring if Donovan Mitchell's on your team. And according to Sports Illustrated, Cleveland still believes in building around Mitchell. So he's likely staying put until further notice. And this is not a shock to anybody. I basically said that at the beginning of this video that Donovan Mitchell would likely not be moved to any other team this season. He would likely play out this season with the Cavs, see what they do in the postseason. And if they fail again in the postseason, then I think all eyes will be on Cleveland and the Donovan Mitchell situation. And according to Sports Illustrated, they agree with this too. They state, but if the Cavs fail to make any progress in their path toward competing for a championship, it may be in Cleveland's best interest to chat with New York about a Mitchell trade next summer. And like I stated, I do think that if Cleveland does fall on their face, especially this postseason, they absolutely have an issue with Donovan Mitchell. They're going to create one with them, and that issue is going to be the door, the opening, the key for the New York Knicks to slide in there and see what they can do. But if you're wondering why reports have not died and why they're still active for Donovan Mitchell to the New York Knicks, it's because he's spotted in New York, we know he wants to be a New York Knick, and ESPN has basically stated that the reports are still buzzing at this point in time because of the fact that he did not sign an extension, and I don't believe he will sign an extension with the Cleveland Cavaliers. There are so many storylines to look out for heading into this season, but the Donovan Mitchell and Cleveland Cavaliers storyline is going to be one of the most interesting to watch all season. And if that heads downward and it spirals out of control, then the New York Knicks will definitely be a player to get Donovan Mitchell and his services for the New York Knicks. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a comment below, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.